These videos show an application problem of the Poisson distribution. First, I'm going to read the problem. At the Major League Baseball Park, five customers arrived at the conception stand on average in a 10-minute period. With this information, I would like to answer some questions. First, what is the probability that in, that in a 10-minute period exactly three people will arrive at the concession stand? B. Find the probability of exactly three customers arriving in a 20-minute period. So this is very similar to the previous question, but the first question is the, the probability in a 10-minute period, now in a 20-minute period. C. Find the probability of three or fewer customers arriving in a 20 minutes. And finally, find the probability of more than three customers arriving in 20 minutes. Let's focus first on the first question. What is the probability that in a 10 minute period exactly three people will arrive at the concession stand? But even if nobody told me that the, this is a Poisson distribution problem, I'm going to understand that the Poisson distribution will be a good model to describe the situation in this problem. First of all, we have a discrete random variable, the number of customers arriving at the concession stand. And second, this function, this problem tell me actually the average of these numbers. So we know the average of this random variable in a period of time. So if we know that, if we know that this is a discrete random variable, and at the same time we know the average in a period or interval, we are thinking that could, could be a good idea to use the Poisson distribution. So let's get a solution of this problem. So because I noted that it's a Poisson distribution problem, I'm going to type here the Poisson distribution formula. So the probability that the random variable x takes the value x will be equal, I can write this or I can write the probability of x, the value x, it will be equal to e to the power the mean negative times the mean to the power x divided by x factorial. So, and what information I have in the, in the problem? I know this average, yeah? five customer arriving per 10 minute period. Yeah? So la uh, lambda will be equal five. But this is not necessarily the, the mean that I need to put into this formula. So the mean that I need to put in this formula will be mu equal this lambda times t. And t will be the number of the periods, the information periods, and the information periods are 10 minutes, 10 minute periods, that appears in the questions period. And the periods in the question are again 10 minute periods. So there is only one minute, it's the same 10 minute period eh? in, in the information are in the in the in the question. So t equal one. This is for example in the second question. 20 minute period and the and the information was in 10 minute periods i noticed that t equal 2 then this for answering the question b i will i will be using t equal 2 but in this case it's the same 10 minute and 10 minutes so mu and lambda are the same number so mu this will be 5 times 1 equal 5 so i can put this 5 into the formula, so the mean is 5, and depending on the question, I will be using the x, because the question is, what is the probability of exactly 3? So it will be p of 3. So x equals 3, 
and the probability of x equal 3 I can write in this way where I can I can I can type in this way probability of 3 so it will be e to the power negative mu but mu is 5 to the power negative 5 times 5 to the power 3 because the question is now probability of 3 so x equal 3 and divided by 3 factorial so let's type this e to the power negative 5 5 to the power 3 divided by 3 factorial and I can use a calculator to compute this and the answer will be uh, 0 0.1404 good so you can do this for solving a problem like this you can solve a problem like this also using Excel so what to do in Excel so open Excel and if you have a cell in, in whatever cell of Excel's worksheet you can use you can type the function for the binomial sorry the Poisson distribution and this is Poisson distribution so you just write Poisson dot dist and if you do that immediately it's, uh, uh, Excel asks you for for what to type so the you need to type the value of x and you know the value of x is 3 you need to type the mean after a comma and the mean is 5 and then you need to tell Excel if this is a cumulative problem or not it's not a cumulative problem if the question is exactly so for this problem you need to answer here that the this is not cumulative so you you can type false or you can type number zero number zero means the same of false in excel zero is shorter so for that reason i will be typing zero okay so if you you need to know what to type you just see this that's what you need to type equal poisson distribution open bracket three the value of x five the value of the mean and zero because this is not a cumulative problem so press enter and you notice the question the answer will be the same as before yeah obviously here this cell is telling me the answer with five decimals or sometimes they give you the answer with more decimals and that answers the first question so let's go now to study the second question find the probability of exactly three customers arriving in a 20 minutes in 20 minutes sorry so if this is the case in 20 minutes the, the, the value of x continue being 3 yeah? but now the value of mu maybe will be different yeah? so the information I have here will be be for the question b will be that lambda equal 5 this is the mean in the information and the information of the problem told me that five customers arrived on average in a 10 minute period we need to type here not this lambda we need to type is mu but mu is lambda t t is the number of periods in the questions how many periods in the questions uh, related to the periods in the in, in the information of the question so this is 10 minute period this is a 20, 20 minute period there are two of these periods here yeah so for that reason t equal to so to know mu will be lambda 5 times t times 2 so mu equal 10 mu equal 10 now i have the value of mu to put into the formula yes so because i have the value of mu now i can type so x equal 3 so the probability of the random variable takes the value of 3 that is the same of writing probability of 3 but in this case what we are going to use is mu equal 10 so it will be equal e to the power negative 10 10 to the power 3 over 3 factorial so please use a calculator to find this question eh? so, to find this this answer so the answer will be 
0.0076. If you are going to solve a problem like this in Excel, then open Excel and in whatever cell of the worksheet, just type Poisson distribution. Don't forget to type the equals signs first. So the value of x is 3, the value of the mean is 10 in this case, and this is not cumulative. Yeah? This is sad, the question is exactly 3. So for that reason, what you need to type is this. Equal Poisson point distribution 3, 10, 0. If you press enter, now after you type this, you get the answer. 0 0.0075667. Round your answer as needed, okay? Okay, so this will be the answer of question B. How to answer question C? So find the probability of three or fewer customers arriving in 20 minutes. So if this is the question, so what I ask him you is with a probability that the variable take the value. 3 or less than 3. So the probability that the variable x will be uh, smaller or equal than 3. Less or equal than 3. And how can be a variable x be less or equal than 3? Maybe if it's 0 or 1 or 2 or 3. So this probability will be the probability of 0 plus the probability of 1, plus the probability of 2, plus the probability of 3. So what you need to do is compute the pro each of these probability and add together. Let's do that. The probability of 0 will be equal e to the power negative 10. Remember mu equal 10 in this case, when we have 20 minute period. So 10 to the power 0 divided by 0 factorial. Plus, now do the same. The mu continue being 10, but now x will be equal to 1. Yeah? Plus, just make a substitution of x instead of typing x, type 1. And the value of the, the mean continue being the same. Yeah? So plus, again, the same the same for the value of the mean, but now the value of x is 2, and this is the probability of 2. Plus the probability of 3, the probability of 3, the one that we computed before, yeah? But this is, remember, e to the power negative 10 plus 10 to the power 3 divided by 3 factorial. So you can solve each of these and add together, and you get the answer. An easiest way to, to work will be if you notice that the e to the power negative 10 is a common factor. So you can actually put e, e to the power negative 10 as a common factor, open bracket, it put into the bracket what it remains after you take it out, this a e to the power negative 10. So for example, here's 10 to the power 0 divided by 0 factorial. By the way, 10 to the power 0 is 1. So will be 1 over 0 factorial. 0 factorial is also 1. Here, for example, e to the power negative 10 is already written outside of the bracket. So will be plus 10 to the power 1, that is 10, divided by 1 factorial. 1 factorial is also 1. So you can type here 1. Plus, this is already written outside of the bracket, then 10 to the power 2, this is 100, divided by 2 factorial. I'm going to type 10 to the power 2 divided by 2 factorial. Plus 10 to the power 3 divided by 3 factorial. Cross the bracket. Then after, if you do that, maybe you can find the answer easier. Yeah? So, so this is, will be 1 plus 10. 10, 10 squared is 100 over 2. This is 50, 3 factorial is 6, this is 1,000 divided by 6. But you can type all of this in the calculator and you can get the answer. The answer is 0 0.0103. But one thing that is important, this was a cumulative problem. 
So the the, the previous problems was were are as getting the exactly three customers, but this is three or fewer, so less or equal than three. It, we, the, the question is like this: less or equal? We have accumulative problem, and this is accumulative distribution. Then, if you are using Excel, you are going to do the same. You are going to type Poisson distribution, but instead of write zero for cumulative, you type one. So, if you if you want to know what to not what to type, is this is what you need to type in a in a, in, a, in a whatever cell of Excel. Poisson distribution three ten one. If you do that. Excel give you the answer immediately after you, after you enter. This will be 0 0.010336. And that gives you the solution in an easy way, in an easier way. Okay, so let's go to the to the last question. Find the probability of more than three customers arriving in it in 20 minutes. So if that is the case, will be well, we have the same information is in 20 minutes. So mu continue being 10, but now the question is probability of x greater than 3. If the probability is x greater than 3, then probability of x greater than 3 will be actually the greater than 3 will be 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. So will be probability of uh, four plus probability of five plus probability of six, and so on. So you are never going to stop, yeah, because it will be probability of seven. So this will be if you try to use the formula doing this, so you are never going to finish, or you will need to to type a, an approximation. So. This is a never-ending work. If you do that, the best way to do it, to do that, is just to recognize that being greater than three is the same, or the probability of being greater than three is the same of one minus the probability of x less or equal than three. Remember that adding together all the probabilities, the answer is one. Yeah? One minus the probability that are not here, that are probability of zero, probability of one, probability of two, and probability of three, will give you this the answer for this problem. So if the question is probability of x greater than, you can use, you can type one minus a cumulative probability. So and the in, and the value in the cumulative pro probability will be the previous of the first one here. Here is four. Okay, previous to this four. Oh, it's actually the same number that appears here. Yeah, three. Okay, so that will be the number that we compute before. So this is already done before. So it will be one minus the number that we compute before. One minus zero point zero one zero three. So the answer will be. 0 0.9897. So the probability of more than three customers arriving into this concession stand is very large probability, very close to one. Yeah? So we are almost sure that we're going to get more than three customers in a 20 minute period. So that's the way you work in, in using a formula or Excel. So if you are using Excel, you can actually type the whole things immediately. So for example, you have in, in Excel you type one minus Poisson distribution. So you type the formula as you are going to as you are going to use it, and then press enter. So in Excel you are going to type one minus Poisson distribution three ten one and press enter. And that gives you the same answer, 0 0.989664. And that concludes my explanation of this problem. Thank you.